What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman of The Time Teller. Now guys, maybe you just picked up your first gold watch or maybe you're interested in breaking into the precious metals in the near future and getting a gold watch into your collection. Pay attention to this list because today we're gonna go over five points. Everything I wish I knew before buying a gold watch and currently, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have a few gold watches floating around my collection and we're not gonna be talking about any specific gold watch. Uh, these kind of general points uh, we'll be trying to cover every gold watch. So maybe you have one or maybe you're interested in figuring out if you got one, where it would fit in your collection and what you gotta look out for. This list will hopefully help you out. And we're gonna be looking at some of my gold watches uh, kinda on screen as we talk. So today I am wearing my 18 karat yellow gold GG Le Coutre Reverso Classique Mechanical. And uh, there's a bit of gold going on here, but if I want a bit more, I flip it over, hiding that crystal and showing off uh, a solid gold bar on my wrist. But you know, it looks nice, it's fancy enough, and it was a huge grail of mine. Uh, I got this for myself uh, when I turned 30. So this is definitely something that's going to be in my collection forever. It is 2.15 p.m. Let's get down to business. <laughs> So the first thing I wish I knew before buying a gold watch is that they're not great for everyday wear. And I'm not talking about uh, the fact that, oh, they're too flashy or too fancy. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. Uh, I'm talking about the material itself. Like gold is just inherently soft. So you'll hear some old school watch collectors refer to gold watches as chocolate bars. And the reason why is because if you think of a Hershey bar, right, uh, the, the foil underneath the the uh, Hershey logo. If you take your fingernail and you run it across that foil, it's going to leave a mark, right? And it's because chocolate is very soft and gold is also pretty soft. Now what I will say is if I take the lug of this 18 karat solid gold watch and I rub my fingernail against it, it's not that soft. Like I'm not going to be able to really put a nick in it. However, uh, it's not nearly as resilient as like a stainless steel watch. So all these little abrasions and all these little scrapes and scratches will show up very, very easily on gold material versus something like stainless steel. So not only are they kind of scratch magnets, they're also smudge magnets. So if you're someone that has a little bit of OCD and doesn't like things showing up on their watches, uh, of course it does depend on brushed finishes and and polished finishes, but a lot of gold watches do have high polish. Uh, even Rolex presidents, you know, when you look at the bracelet, um, a lot of it is, is quite polished. So if you're not into uh, smudges anywhere or, or little micro scratches and stuff, um, maybe stay away from solid gold, unfortunately. Moving on to the next point, if you're not into the added flare or flash that may come from a gold watch, uh, probably stay away because you do have the potential to gain some interest and attention that you don't want. Now currently uh, in 2021 here in Los Angeles, LAPD actually put down, put a statement out, excuse me, talking about how in the last seven weeks, there have been seven instances of robbery pertaining to Rolex watches. Now, I don't know how much these criminals actually know about the nuances of the reference numbers of these various watches, but here's what I will say. Uh, when people ask me these questions about, oh, do I need to be careful wearing a watch, this and that? Well, you need to make these decisions for yourself. I don't know where you go, and I can't you know, guarantee everyone's safety anywhere. Uh, but what I will say is I've warned people about wearing watches that even look flashy, right? So your watch doesn't have to be solid yellow gold or solid rose gold or bedazzled with actual jewels and diamonds. Uh, if you're wearing a gold plated watch or a fake watch that still looks flashy, do you think a criminal that's willing to just brazenly rip that off your arm, do you think he really like has a jeweler's loop and he's like, looking at it and, and he's inspecting it on your wrist before he he takes it. No, he just sees something flashy. He wants to take it. He's crazy enough to do it and he's going to do it. So 
What I'm trying to say is gold, because of its inherent value and interest and cachet, people are going to pay attention to it potentially. And uh, literally a week before filming this episode, uh, someone here in Beverly Hills, a fellow watch dealer, um, actually got held up at a very, very fancy restaurant. Um, broad daylight, eating outside, had a gun pulled on him and had a Richard Meal, a $500,000 watch uh, attempted robbery. So it's, it's yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's not cool. Um, and again, I'm not trying to say you are going to get all the bad attention, but if you're interested in wearing uh, a precious metal, you might be getting more attention. Now, something like this that's a little bit more uh, subdued, you know, most of what's going on here is leather aside from the uh, buckle and the watch, which is pretty much undersized at this point. I'm not too worried about this, but even my Rolex president, you know, that, that would gain or garner some attention. And uh, you just something, it's something to be mindful of. But this is also why I say white gold is cooler, stealth wealth, probably won't get you that much attention. A white gold watch, uh, people will assume it's just some rubbish material like stainless steel. <laughs> uh, peasant, peasant metal. Ugh. I'm kidding, the vast majority of my watches are stainless steel. I, I love stainless steel. But yeah, white gold is honestly the gold to go with in my opinion. But speaking of that stainless steel debate, uh, here's what I will say. A gold watch is not inherently better than stainless steel. And it's true, one might be, you know, more valuable or expensive than another one. So typically, uh, you know, a gold watch might be more expensive than its stainless steel counterpart, but it doesn't mean that gold watch is a better watch or a better purchase than its stainless steel counterpart. And I know some people might get it twisted, so let me clarify this right now. The price of your watch, the value of your watch, the cost of your watch, irrelevant. Doesn't matter. The more expensive a watch is doesn't mean it's any better or any cooler than a watch that is less expensive or considered more affordable. It literally does not matter. I literally wore my Orient Defender, which was you know under $200 um, right before I, I filmed this episode. So I took off my Orient Defender, I put this one on, which is you know a lot more expensive than my Orient Defender. And guess what? When I'm done filming this episode, I'm going to put on this G-Shock, which is less than $100. Everything I wish I knew before falling in love with a resin watch. Mm. So to that point, okay, do not spend all the extra money on a gold watch simply because it's gold. Okay, you have to really enjoy what you're buying. You have to buy what you like, buy what you're interested in wearing. So if there's a watch and it, it's gold and you want a gold watch and it seems to be something you can afford, don't just throw the money at it because you want a gold watch. Make sure it's the watch you want. And if it happens to be gold, then yeah, do, do what it takes to figure out like how to get it in your collection. Don't don't just throw money at something simply because of the material. I just, I never understood that. Here's a controversial point. Uh, it's actually the second to last point I wanna talk about today. Uh, most modern gold watches are ugly. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I know this is this is very much subjective. Different strokes for different folks. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I found most modern gold watches are too much. It, 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 less is more when we're talking about these precious metals. And I think uh, a lot of modern watch design, um, it's just more is more. And, and I wouldn't want it on the wrist. I mean, I wear things like this. I mentioned earlier, this is considered undersized by today's standards, but uh, this is how the reversos were meant to be worn. And I think that, you know, I'm a vintage guy. So it's, it's I might be a little bit biased, I understand that. But yeah, I think honestly, less is more when it comes to most things in watch design language, but uh, specifically when we're talking about gold and specifically yellow gold, because um, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a lot to take in. So I think the most flashy, uh, of the precious metals that I currently own would be uh, my yellow gold president, okay? Because that is not only, uh, you know, solid gold oyster case, it's also got the solid gold uh, president presidential bracelet or president bracelet, whatever you want to call it. And that's a whole lot of material there. And that's probably 
you know, that's the most I would go, I think. And that's even a vintage Rolex. So it's, it's, it's by no means modern at this point. And then to go on the other end, uh, very, very vintage would be my um, Vacheron Small Seconds 4533C uh, that, you know, it, it has the um, yellow gold bracelet along with the case, but that's even a little bit less flashy than something like a, a president. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen a modern yellow gold watch that I absolutely had to have. Maybe, okay, the Vacheron Overseas Ultra Thin with the blue dial and, and it's, it's rose gold and they just released it on the bracelet. I would definitely take that and that's a whole lot of gold material there and that's modern. So, you know, their rules are meant to be broken, but for the most part, uh, the vintage gold, modern gold, yeah, I can live without it. And finally, I need to reiterate, uh, this is the last point, wear what you like, pick what you love, and buy what you want, okay? Uh, I said this a little bit earlier, do not wear, like write this out, Gato, do not buy a gold watch to impress anyone else other than yourself, okay? Because guess what? The majority of people don't care. So while I said earlier, wearing a gold watch might garner some attention you don't want, I, I still think for the vast majority of people, they don't really care or know what's on your wrist. So at the end of the day, you gotta be happy with what you purchased. And I mean, I grin stupidly at the watches on my wrist every moment of every day. And I think that's kind of a watch addict thing. We're here not even looking at the time and we're here like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> you sure are pretty. And that's, you know, you, you gotta be happy with that at the end of the day. You can't buy something uh, with the hopes of impressing someone else because they don't care. And, and the, the sad truth is they probably aren't even aware of it. Sorry guys, my, my collar is being all scrunchy and it's because this mic pulls down my shirts. I know, it's a naughty, naughty mic. But guys, again, I hope this list helped you out. If you're interested in getting into the precious metals, then yeah, I mean, gold is great. It's fun. It's nice looking depending on the design, but I wouldn't throw money at a watch simply because it's gold. So I hope this list helped you out. And uh, let me know in the comment section, do you have any gold watches in your collection? And uh, which ones would you like to add to your collection? Again, comment, comment, comment. Commenting really does help with the algorithm these days more than ever on YouTube. So uh, leave me that comment. Let me know, how do you feel about gold watches? Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on today's episode. Um, if you enjoyed it and you haven't already, click that subscribe button because uh, we wanna see you join and um, hang out with us on every upload and we upload a whole lot and if you want extra content then join the channel memberships it's like youtube's patreon four dollars 99 cents a month you get access to that members only discord chat you get some extra content over there and uh it's it's really fun we do a weekly meetup. It's like a little conference call, but we're all uh, streaming together live and we talk about things like movies, the stock market, uh, current events, obviously watches, food, that's a big one, working out, um, anything. A bunch of knuckleheads, my favorite part of the channel, my certified T3 bots. If you wanna join, again, hit that join button. We got a whole lot of affiliate links in the description below and you can check out my personal website, www.thetimetellershop.com. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah,